What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jay back with another video and in this video we have a dual video so since I'm only going to be uploading on Wednesdays I'm going to pretty much be covering two things at one time for the most part. Uh, not all videos are going to be like this but that's just a heads up. So in this video you got some gameplay of the new build that I will be releasing next week and we have my thoughts on 1.8.3. So let's get straight into the video. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. We're getting up there. We're close to 300 subs. We just started at the beginning of the year. So that's not too bad, not too bad. But anyway, my thoughts on the update. So with the update, they pretty much nerfed Striker. And they the, one of the biggest things they did is the adjustment with the immune box. I have a video discussing how to still use the immune box. As you see, I'm using it in this video. And I'm using it right now actually when i'm pretty much support like I, sh I shouldn't even be alive at this point i should have been dead even after i packed uh before i even popped the survivor link i still should have died but anyway so what i think about this update is that it really does promote team gameplay because i've never seen so many people talk about oh uh, if i have attack on my team or if i have a d3 on my team it seems like people are really starting to like run certain roles like people are starting to run um disruptors like emps and like don't get me wrong people were running that before but now it's starting to become more prevalent like i've run a couple matches of skirmish and i've been seeing people like run squads which is great because that's a big part of the division and that's what makes it fun is when you run with people um it's like the solo play is kind of dead at this point because there's so many people that's actually participating in the group play. Um, obviously, you still got the Nomad Six Piece where it promotes uh, that solo play. But if you get ganged up by a well-rounded team of four, it's over. It's over for you. Um, there's no way a solo player can take that many players if they're a well-organized group. Now I'm talking about. In, in terms of organization, there has been people like grouping up before, but like now it's like actually real organized. <laughs> My controller died probably at the worst time, but it's actually more organized now. And people are grouping up and they're having like their builds merge with each other. So they're like, they complement each other. So you have somebody running a pulse, you maybe have a D3 playing support or playing assault, or you have, and you have like a dedicated healer. And lately I've been seeing like sticky bombs running around too. So that's really great for the game, I think. That's a great start. Um, obviously, Nomad and Predator are the best right now, but I mean, granted, it's always going to be some builds that's going to be better than others in this um, in this meta world, just in this game period. So, if you don't have a squad, I would challenge you to find at least like three other people that you can run with, so you can fully enjoy the game to the maximum potential. I'm telling you, it's so much better to play with a bunch of people. Um, I know I'm kind of guilty of this because I kind of run solo quite a bit, but I would just challenge you to do that. And uh, if you want to, you can start in the comment section. Tell me what your thoughts are on this new update, how you feel about it. Um, it's all about adapting, really. But anyway, it's your boy Jay. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell for post notifications. See you in the next one. Peace out.